When Pamela Anderson divorced Tommy Lee in 1998, she was crushed and devastated. In an excerpt from her upcoming memoir, Love Pamela, the actress claims that her divorce from the Motley Crue drummer was the hardest, lowest, most terrible period of my life. The former couple started dating in 1995, were married four days later, and welcomed sons Dylan, now 25, and Brandon, now 26. In her book, which goes on sale on January 31st, Anderson, 55, refers to her relationship with Lee, 60, as the only time I was ever truly in love. After Lee was detained for marital violence in 1998 and imprisoned for six months, Anderson claims that her hell began at that point. She recalls the rock star repeatedly kicking her in the back while she was holding Dylan, who was then seven months old. I still couldn't believe that the person I loved the most was capable of what had occurred that night, she says. We were both in shock, but I had to defend my children. The Baywatch alum shares that she and the singer still check in on one other every once in a while and expresses her everlasting gratitude that Lee is the father of Brandon and Dylan. Third wife Anderson was Lee's, since 2019. He has been wed to social media influencer Brittany Verlin, according to Anderson, whose most recent divorce from bodyguard Dan Hayhurst occurred in 2022, being single has been more romantic than her failed relationships. She said, I don't need someone to send me roses. I recently planted 100 rose plants. I have access to them whenever I choose. I'm sure it would be wonderful if I knew someone else who felt the same way but I've never met them. Usually, it's about accommodating them, but there must be a balance. The same day that Anderson's memoir is released, her new documentary, Pamela, A Love Story, will be available on Netflix. She said in a trailer that the film aims to help her take control of the narrative for the first time.